To dive is the most exquisite experience. And I thought if I could any, in any way convey that, the, the sheer beauty of it in a completely alien environment, then that would be a, you know, that would be a, a wonderful thing to do. It would bring joy to people, I thought. It brings joy to me. And I was diving in Grenada and the dive master, uh, I was talking to him after the dive and he said, he said uh, well, if all your work's about wildernesses and wild places, the last real wild place left is underwater uh, because it's the last undiscovered part of the planet. Um, so you ought to do work about that. And I thought about it for a while and I thought, well, you know, what an absurd suggestion. I'm a watercolorist, how can you do underwater watercolors? But it was an idea that just snagged on my brain. And so I thought about it for a long time and, and finally realized that there probably was a way to do it. Uh, and so I devised this way of, of uh, drawing underwater with carandash, Swiss carandash crayons, which are slightly water soluble um, on architect's drafting film, which is like a plastic paper. And I had a plastic drawing board um, and I would clip the, the uh, paper onto it. I would go down and sit on the bottom in about uh, 30 or 40 feet of water with a handful of carandash crayons and extra weights on my weight belt so that I would sit solidly on the bottom instead of sort of washing around in the, uh, in the waves. And, and I would simply see if this would work. And I found it worked perfectly well. In fact, the only problem I discovered really is that is that you, you hang on to your pencils and, and you, you've got the, the, you're also holding onto the drawing board and you're working away here. And then if you loosen your grip, your pencils immediately fly off up to the surface and you can't chase after them because you would get, you would get an embolism. And so you have to just let them go. And so by the end of a couple of weeks <laughs> drawing underwater, you're down to you know the yellow, the red and the and the, the gray. And so you're around looking for fish which actually have got those colors on. <laughs> because otherwise you're, you know, there's nothing, you haven't got anything left. Um, but that's the only, the only technical problem with it, I think. <laughs> if you look at the, the little drawings here, you can see quite clearly that, um, that it, this is pretty much, this is pretty much uh, directly taken from this drawing here. Uh, but in this case, I, I realized that I wanted a, a better look at this uh, little butterfly fish, which is, just here. And I loved the way these, these little orange fish are kind of squirreling around all over the place. And so I, I wanted to put a few of those in just to remind myself of, of that, but also to study that little butterfly fish a little closer. And this, uh, this Trevelli Jack here shows that the fish do pay attention to what's going on because I was sitting down here. I, I learned from my, my diary here that I was down there for 85 minutes, which is a very long time on a single tank of air. But of course, you can stay longer than you would normally expect to because you're not moving. You're actually sitting still, so you're not using so much energy. Um, but anyhow, uh, this Trevelli Jack um, was absolutely stationary here, as, it all, as if it was posing for its, its portrait. Uh, and I was sitting drawing, and it was staying in the same place, just watching me. And then the snorkeler went past above and cast a shadow which frightened the fish, and the fish went off at in tremendous speed. They're very, very fast, um, fast fish, these uh, jacks. And, and then a few minutes later, it swung round and came back and stayed once again in exactly the same spot, watching what I was doing. So they, they do pay attention, they obviously think. With all my work, what I'm trying to do is give people the sense of what it's actually like to be there. Um, and what really pleased me in some ways is when divers see these paintings, they say, oh yeah, that's exactly what it's like. And so that pleases me most, really. That sense of the, the light coming through the water, the, you know, the sheer variety of the fish getting up to their, you know, just getting on with their lives. Uh, and, and just this sense of you being in, a, in this extraordinary but very, very beautiful environment.